Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Navy, we're going to be celebrating my three years, three years, <laughs> of being out of active duty U.S. military. September 24th, 2015 was my official last day in the U.S. Navy. Got my DD-214 in hand and uh, went all the way from Bangor, Washington, back home to Salina, Ohio. From there, I had already been accepted to Western Michigan University in Kalamazoo. I was just basically waiting for a couple months to uh, get a place lined up and then uh, move out there and start college, start my brand new life. But it wasn't really all that easy. Um, even before I started college, it was hard for me to even get an apartment because uh, a lot of uh, landlords, managers didn't really know the whole GI Bill, like how you get paid and stuff like that. And I never received the GI Bill at that point at the time. It was hard for me to prove that, you know, basically like prove income source um, because I didn't have any receipts and, you know, <laughs> it was just, uh, it was an uphill climb. So uh, a lot of the apartment complexes that I was looking at originally from here in Ohio pretty much straight up denied me uh, when I went up there to check out their places. But one apartment complex decided to give me a shot uh, since they had short-term leases. Um, they decided to give me a short uh, four-month lease just to kind of prove my trustworthiness. And then from there, offered me a full year lease. It wasn't the best of apartments. I don't know if you guys remember that first apartment in Kalamazoo. Um, it was what they call garden level, which basically means you're essentially in the basement. kind of started wearing on me mentally because of the lack of sunlight. Um, I didn't really think that would affect me as much as it did, but uh, it did. And also I just, you know, it was hard getting like groceries and stuff in there just because it was inside and you had to like walk through the hallway instead of just like walking straight into your door and you're in your apartment. And you know, near the end it was starting to get overrun by druggies. I was definitely happy to uh, get out of that place when I did. And honestly they were charging like way too much for what they were offering, in my opinion anyway. So I ended up at the end of my lease uh, going to a new place, still in Kalamazoo Portage area. Um, the apartment was a lot smaller than that one, but it was actually on the first floor. So I had bigger windows, more sunlight, didn't feel like I was living in a basement, which was nice, and uh, I had to sell and get rid of some things just to make room for it all. I think overall that apartment worked out very well. But getting back into school things because I think I went a little too far. With school I first started out at Western Michigan University, like I said, Kalamazoo, Michigan. I was originally in the computer information systems major, which is basically like a cross between computer science and business. It was my original major back when I was going to Urbana University in Ohio and I figured since I got out of the military I'd just basically pick up my life from where I left off. It just, it didn't end up working that way. I ended up just really not liking the major, didn't really like the classes, didn't really connect with people a lot. Um, I, was, I definitely felt uh, the age gap, as it were. You know, being a now 30-something, going to a college with traditional college-age students, um, I felt like the old man of the group, basically. Even though, you know, they didn't really seem too bothered by it, but I was definitely bothered by it. And I was also dealing with a lot of internal struggle, you know, a lot of issues that had built up for me uh, during my time in the service. And um, now that I had time to work on those issues, uh, they started, you know, presenting themselves. <laughs> basically the nicest way I can put it. And I sought some help at college. You know, they weren't really well set up for counseling and stuff like that and um, I didn't really know much about VA health services or anything like that. I've heard a bunch of horror stories from them so I was very hesitant to take them up on their offers so I figured I'll just get through this by myself. You know it slowly started to wear at my grades and uh, just a lot, of, a lot of stress started hitting me pretty hard and uh, I'm used to handling stress, you know, handled it when I was in the service. Uh, but since I got out, it seemed like any little stressor just set me off. 
you know, it took a lot of time and talking with good friends, family. Uh, long story short, um, my time at Western Michigan was, you know, slowly on the decline because I had failed a lot of my classes um, in the computer information systems major. Um, I decided that that just wasn't the major for me. Uh, I just decided to try a whole new major and bet on myself. I decided to switch over majors to uh, film production. And from there, I started to see better grades. Um, I started really getting the hang of some things. But, uh, you know, those old uh, depressive anxiety episodes started coming back up again. And, uh, you know, it was re it's really hard to... Uh, to deal with stuff like that, you know, because it's a it's a huge adjustment, you know, for me. Because um, just to give you guys some context, I was stationed out in Yokosuka, Japan. Um, I got this hoodie actually uh, when I was out in Yokohama, um, so that's pretty close by. I'd gotten used to the way Japanese people do things, just Japanese life in general, and then coming back to the states. Uh, there was a lot of reverse culture shock involved, and uh, there was also just a lot of other changes, you know, going back as a civilian, going back as a college student for the first time in like 10 years. Uh, there was just a lot of adjustment in a very short amount of time. And I think uh, if I had to do it over again, I probably would have waited till maybe summer semester at the earliest. Uh, but I felt like I needed to strike while the iron was hot and get in class as soon as possible, you know? <laughs> Time's a wasting, right? Um, after I switched over majors to film production, like I said, first semester went well, but second semester wasn't so good because of, you know, old head brain issues. So I went back to seek some counseling again. And again, they weren't really all that helpful. If anything, they were just kind of somebody I can vent to, which I guess helped in a little bit, but, uh, you know, it wasn't really the, you know, therapy that I was looking for. It's just basically having somebody to listen to me vent, which can only go so far. So after a while, uh, I decided to transfer over to KVCC, which is a uh, Kalamazoo Valley Community College. Uh, they just call it Valley up there because they had their own film production major that you could go through. And it seemed like their classes were a lot more up my alley as far as what I wanted to do because I felt that uh, the classes at Western were geared more towards uh, traditional media, which nothing wrong with that, but I was more into the new media side of the house, like YouTube, <laughs> what I'm putting this on right now. Um, and I saw that uh, KVCC had classes that were more in that area, you know, they're teaching us about the Adobe Creative Suite and I wanted to learn more about the programs to hopefully, you know, glean some little tips and tricks that I could use to uh, improve my freelance game. I definitely learned a couple things, but again, um, there's a lot of emotional issues, uh, mental health stuff that kind of started weighing on me a little bit. So um, at the end of 2017, I decided to get out of college and in this year, 2018, I decided to just take a break to kind of figure myself out, um, figure out what I really want to do with my life, and uh, if I want to go back to college and just, you know, finish strong, because uh, failing all these classes really ain't helping me much, to be honest. But I do want to go back to college. Um, I feel like it's definitely the right direction for me. It's definitely a way for me to learn stuff, but you know, also network with people, which is uh, the important part. So I'm looking into different avenues to get back to school. You know, looking at different colleges, not only in the local area, but uh, outside the area as well. Uh, looking at, you know, going back to Japan, because I know this is a Navy related video, <laughs> But uh, Japan does play a part in my naval experience. I was stationed out there for two years, so let me have this moment, damn it. <laughs> yeah, I definitely do feel strongly about going back to Japan. And I've also kind of toyed with the idea of going to other places like, you know, L.A. 
in California. But really, I think LA is definitely an eventual place to go to. But right now, I'm not ready for it. <laughs> you really have to be like on your A game in order to be ready for something like that. And plus, I really want to build up my freelance clientele, you know, build up a portfolio and things like that before I even attempt something like LA. But in any event, uh, Japan just seems to be a lot, um, not necessarily easier, but I'm just better equipped for it, I guess. You know, despite all my issues, you know, back when I was stationed in Japan, I felt that Japan itself was my only escape from a lot of the stresses that were affecting me in the military. Um, so like on weekends or whenever I didn't have watch or something like that. Um, I really enjoyed going out in town, going out to Tokyo to visit friends, even going out to like Shizuoka to visit some friends as well. Um, I really enjoyed those times and I felt even though I was there for only two years, uh, I was just too short. So I definitely do want to come back and I'm going to talk more about this in a personal life update so I'm not bogging this down with not Navy stuff even though it's kind of related. But anyway, my camera's overheating uh, so we got to sign off here quick. So that said guys, this is the Andy Sign. Sign for now. Thanking you, Book, for uh, tuning into this video and watching my other stuff and uh, give me some ideas for uh, future Andy Talks Navy stuff because I enjoy doing these but uh, I just want to kind of get a gauge for what you guys are looking for. So anyway, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.